We The Outer Worlds. How you doing Molly and Simon? How are you guys? Oh my god, the Windows notifications for Xbox are so annoying. So fucking annoying, dude. Full, how about you? What'd you eat? I just had cereal. I'm gonna stream until I have my hair appointment and then I'm gonna go in for my bi-monthly hair trim that I should have gotten I think at the beginning of November but it's fine. And then I'm gonna, I don't know, fuck around for three hours and then I'm gonna go to dance. I'm so excited to go to dance twice a week. I finally get to go on a Tuesday because I don't have school today. Am I right? That's good to hear. Eggs and English muffins. That sounds delicioso. Oh shit, we're still on the- Hello? It's okay, Rocky. Take your time. There we go. Like the old EU chaps used to have. Did you have some blood sausage with it too? Dude, it still throws me off how people like eat congealed blood and stuff. Like, it's haram in Islam to eat, a uh, like blood or, um, meat that still has blood. So like I never I've never I never had it growing up and I don't know just the idea is so weird to me. We can eat bone marrow though, which is interesting because like that's what produces the blood. So you think that'd be fine? My Xbox notifications disabled themselves and I don't know how to turn them back on. Oh no! Did you like look through the Xbox app on the client? I want achievement pop-ups. No. <laughs> how was the Cyril? It was good, Nigel. How you doing? I could never do that. Eat the, the bone marrow or like congealed blood. I've never had- I think I've like tried to have bone marrow before and it's too rich for me. I can't do it. I'm good at IO. Good to hear it. 
Hi, is this the place where Aya streams while Brent's at work? Don't be out. Okay, I knew you were gonna call me out. I feel so bad. I'm sorry. I wanted to go to dance today, though. I only get to go on Saturdays. And I had no school today, so I was like, oh, fuck yeah. Let me check if- hold on, let me check if the dance center is even open. Hold on. Hubbard. Hold on. It's fine. It's not fine. I'm sorry. It's open today, Pog! Okay. I think they just closed like on Thursday and Friday. I can't have bone marrow either. Like, I tried it before. And I was just like, ugh. I'm really open-minded to new foods too. It's just, oh god. Frame drops. Parvati, she's so pretty. It's all enabled, but it won't pop up. What the heck? I'm glad to hear you're doing well, Nigel. I might have already said that, I'm not sure. You are the dopio she doesn't want to hunt. Well, I mean, in this game, we are the dopio and everyone wants to hunt us. Give me that apple. She's such a cutie, dude. Can I steal? <gasps> Why would you steal apples from here when you could just steal them outside? From the ground, from mother nature. I wanna like learn more about these people before I make a decision. I think I'm gonna side with them. I think if we, like I think I'm gonna reroute the power to them. Cause I don't think that guy's gonna make amends. What was his name? That slippery looking asshole. Petra 2.0, you're right. Is this a crime? I feel like this is a crime to do. We should not do that. God, it's so smooth. It throws me off. Oh, time to break our glass ankles. Oh, nice. Started a second playthrough after your last stream. I'm so honored. I'm so glad. Are you like, um, are there like multiple different routes and stuff you could take? Oh god, they even have the Fallout idling dialogue. Uh. Okay, so I guess ultimately our decision now is to go to the, um, go to the power plant and decide who we're diverting power to. I'm sure this is gonna be like, um, what was that one quest with the NCR? Was it with the NCR? Where you could choose to like either blow up the NCR facility or like you could divert power to like one area or the other. Um, it was like NCR and another faction. I think maybe the strip. Um, and then there was an option to like do like a middle ground between the two. But the middle ground option had drawbacks for everyone. Three fourths Fallout New Vegas choices, amazing. Taking a second, a game, Taking in the game a second time with confidence in the mechanics. Nice, nice, nice. Steam sale is up. Oh, for Thanksgiving? Nice! I'm mad at myself for not waiting um, to see if the Fire Emblem DLC went on sale. Because I bought it like a few days ago. This is literally a please be NCR, please be NCR moment. <laughs> Potentially. Uh, let's go see if there's anything else we can say to Adelaide before we leave. I mean, ultimately our decision is going to come when we show up to the power plant. I'm definitely not siding with that asshole motherfucker. So the question is, do we want to... Like... Distribute... If it's an option to distribute power between the two? Or do we want to completely side with these guys? Frankly, I'm inclined to completely side with these guys, because if they have the full power they need... When... If the town shuts down and everybody needs to relocate, they can come here. And they can start a life free from the reins of capitalism. That means Steam is dead, probably. It's Nintendo IO, you're probably safe. That's that's what I told myself to consile myself, but... Like, I don't know, I love what these guys are doing here, and I'd hate to... You know, I'd hate to ruin it. This is so cool. Look at this. With my 37 cent ass. <laughs> what was the last thing? I think the last thing I bought was for on Steam was that for the Halloween sale. I got DMC5 for like, I think 20 bucks or something. And I got like 100,000, uh, I think, gems to like spend on weapons and stuff. Anything else I can do for you? When we first talked, you assumed I'd come to live here. I am getting old, you know. These two lamps of mine are not as bright as they once were. Or I might have seen you for what you are. Don't 
don't imagine you get a lot of visitors. Five dollars in the Steam wallet? Yes, I got DMC5. I don't know if I'm gonna play it though. My dear, we are all visitors in a momentary universe. Our lives flicker in and out like the guttering of a flame. You're now, then gone. Me and mine are just carrying on as best we can, trying to live our lives in a way that does not feel wasted. Colony felt the way you did, we'd have ourselves a proper revolution. I can't stop you from conducting your business down at the plant. I just want you to know that if you take our power away, you will have brought an end to our way of life. Okay, I understand enough. I feel like I should lower graphic settings just a little bit. Just a little bit. We've been getting like occasional frame drops and I think this will make things better. My god, it was fucking beautiful on very high though. Okay. <laughs> Where are you gonna buy with those five bucks, Molly? Alright. Sorry. I'm trying to reaccustom myself to that. I was looking for the map, I'm dumb. few kindred spirits. Grace doesn't know where Zoe might have gone. She suggested checking the shack where Zoe beds down for any hints where she might have gone. Stefan revealed that she, he was looking to surprise Zoe with an episode of her favorite serial. Grace said that out of all the people in the camp, Stefan was the closest to Zoe. We already spoke to Stefan. Let's go check out her house. Yeah, let's go check out her house before we leave. Grim Dawn's DLC, then I stopped playing Grim Dawn immediately. <laughs> I'm afraid that's gonna be me with Fire Emblem, so like I need to take time aside to play it. I literally- I bought the DLC on Saturday and I haven't played since. Okay. Oh, what's this? Zoe's journal, page 18. Good news, I'm alive. Starting to feel a little better too. There's a group of deserters living out in the old botanical labs. They found a way to grow some food. Or something that passes for food, anyway. Adelaide boiled a pot of something green and leafy and told me to drink it twice a day for my symptoms, I suppose. Tastes atrocious, but I've been feeling better. It's nice to be away from the cannery. The labs have just enough power to run an aether wave, so I've been catching up on my serial dramas. Masked marketeer? What would I do without you? I'd go crazy, most likely. Crack up, murder all my neighbors, and run screaming into the hills like some wild marauder. I don't know, that doesn't su sound too bad. Uh-oh, I could see myself leading a cage of marauders, a band of bandits. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Band of Bandits? What would we call ourselves? The Formidable Fourteen. The Hundred Hooligans. Featuring Zoe, Bandit Queen. Uh-oh. Sis went out and, like, became a fucking raider. Well, today's the day, Zoe. Today's the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauder Threat. Bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living out in camps in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrel fires. Probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me. Living a life of comfort and ease free of any rules. I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. Oh, shit. I've been tucking away some of Adelaide's food, and I've got some spare cans of salt tuna. Should last me a couple of weeks if I ration. Got some Adrena time, too. Everyone loves Adrena time. Even marauders, right? I got odds those marauders would let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple of syringes of Adrena time before their eyes. Oh, shit. 
This is gonna be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm gonna have a whole gang of marauders at my beck and call. Maybe I can even score some Rizzos. This bitch is dead. This bitch is actually dead. She's fucking dead. She's f definitely fucking dead. We're gonna go look for her. There's not even a point to look at for her. We're gonna go look for her, and we're gonna fucking die. Mm. Emphasis on classic as in boomer for Chrono Trigger. Died to the hundred hooligans, maybe. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice boost. Fuck it. Repair weapons and armor in the inventory. Uh, Brian will kill me if I don't take this perk. Mm -hmm. 25 more bits in containers is nice, though. So I didn't know that perk existed until I started this new save and I always want to work bench. <laughs> oh no. I feel like we actually won't need this for a little while. This one specifically. Like we won't need this until we leave the first area. So perhaps it's best to invest in something else right now. But I always carried several weapons so I could swap between them as they broke the hands. <laughs> What's good, Hugo? How you doing? How's your day been? If we invest in three, we literally get two things here, which is awesome. Oh no, we don't, because this hits at uh, that hits later. Just kidding. Did you beat your weapons against the ground or something? Maybe he went murder hobo and killed everything in his path. In a good mood today, how about you? Glad to hear it! I am very relieved to be done with my work and to be on Thanksgiving break, so I'm in a pretty good mood too. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. We can invest our other two points here. Built up for- what the fuck was that noise? How was dance? I haven't gone to dance yet. Dance is later today. That's why I'm streaming now, because it's in the evening. I went pistol only, all the extra shots, aid durability. That's how I usually play Fallout. <laughs> That's how I usually play. Let's apply this. Oh gosh, another perk. I kind of want to be a speedwalker, that sounds fun. But if I want to use my perks to like make up for my deficiencies, we should take this. I don't think we'll need this one for a while, not until we get a bunch more loot. Yeah, I'm so excited to go today. Usually I can only go once a week because I have class on Tuesdays. Um, but I'm excited to go because I don't have class. Well, in reality, all my classes got canceled and I'm just skipping one of my classes. But I basically don't have class. This is nice, just a base plus five, but I feel like that gets worse as it scales up with level. Like right now, this is overpowered, but it's gonna get kind of garbage later on. Let's take this one. Can we? We can't reinvest in that, okay, I see. Okay. Moves always, she'd plan to run away and join a marauder camp in the east. I mean, she's probably fucking dead or she's gonna attack us on sight. 
Why the fuck would we look for her? This sounds suicidal. Parvati, why the fuck am I bringing you into this? Oh jeez, oh dear. Do I have infinite sprint, by the way? Ooh! Nice! Dervish Mist. An adrenaline booster. Interesting. Oh shit. I have no long range weapons. I hear roaring in the distance. Holy fucking shit, that is loud. Oh, there's a fuck ton of them! Shoot your companions in this game. That's the last of them. I can't wait for my first death so I can lose my fucking mind screaming. I wonder if there's a way to. Uh, um. Oh shit! I need to reload. I'm out of ammo. Oh god. I'm completely out of ammo. Good job, Parvati. I'm very proud of her. Hmm. Is it time for melee only run? As we walk into this giant group of marauders? Where the fuck can I buy ammo around here? Hmm. I do need to sell stuff. Does Edgewater have like a merchant? Can that motherfucker shut the hell up? What the fuck is going on down there, people? Oh my god! Oh, this is like the easy death beginner area where you accidentally drop in here. Yeah, you accidentally drop in here when you're level 2 and then you're fucking dead five minutes later. Jesus Christ, people, relax! Calm down! Why are they so loud? Please, please, please. Implying it would take five minutes to tear, tear all your limbs off, that's fair. Probably 30 seconds with my strength level. Anyways. Um, I'm not comfortable walking into this Marauder camp without any ammo. The traditional mechanic that is in all modern RPGs, precisely. What the fuck is this? Let's go to Edgewater. See if there's a vendor there. Nice, we can fast travel to the botanical camp too. Mm. I have to also recommend taking ammo into combat. Yes, I feel like that would ultimately be a wise decision. They're telling you to repair. I know, I know, I know, I know. I was gonna point it out, but then I was like, no, because Brent's gonna yell at me for not automatically repairing on site, and then I'm gonna feel bad, and then we'll go to the workshop. We'll go to the ship too, I guess. I guess. Can I like sell things to her, ma'am? You're not a big drinker, are you? Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company uh -huh. slogans to any visitors. Uh -huh. Plague got you feeling woozy? Get yourself boozy with Spacer's Choice. There's a workbench in town too, Pog! Coming right up. So... Lockpick plus five, nice. We'll wear that going in. Do I even have anything to sell? I could sell this. Bunch of nanners. Mm. 
To be frank, I don't really have anything to sell. I just need to buy uh, ammo. Repair, repair, repair. <laughs> What's good, A? How you doing? Now, where's that workbench? Is it marked on my map? I suppose I could sell the vending machine, could I? It's to your left. been in here. Seemed scary from the outside. Okay, we'll go talk to Constable Rays in a second. Where's that workbench? Keep following the street? Okay. Oh, I see it. Wait, is this it? This is where the yeah, happened? thank you. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Science. But it still happens. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty-five percent. I can't install any mods yet. Oh, repair. Oops, I'm silly. I'm a silly Billy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna talk to her. Thank you for the reminder, though. Is it whenever a companion like has something to say? In um. Oh, do we not have enough repair parts? Boo. It's okay. We repaired our main weapon. Um, we can also break down... We probably need the light assault rifle. Yeah, I feel like that- but that uses up the same kind of ammo, and we haven't used up the heavy ammo at all. I'm not good enough to use a revolver, I think. Just scrap it. Oh, they both use heavy ammo. Why the fuck the different names then? Yeah, I don't think spray and pray would be very useful to us right now. Oh, wait, our armor, our armor. Da, da, da. Why don't we just wear the nicer mining gear? And then break down this one. Oops. How do I break down? Oh, I'm a silly Billy. Replacement is a valid method of repair. Just make sure you're repairing. <laughs> Uh, and we're gonna wear the helmet once we leave town. Hey, that's. <laughs> if you need it. I do need it. Where are we headed? Oh yeah, that conversation with Thomas. Thomas seemed very fond of you. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. That door on the wall goes into her home? Ooh, we can do some B and E. Some B and E. The tool he was thinking with wasn't a wrench. <laughs> he never told me a word to that effect. And since he didn't, I didn't have to say nothing about being, about feeling different. And nothing had to get weird. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? You sounded worried. Sorry. I know, it's none of my business. I don't make a habit of imbibing. <laughs> It's not like I think it a failing of mine, it's just I... I live right across the road. Most nights I watch folks out my window. When they come in here, they might be happy or sad. Mostly they're tired. When they leave, they're mad at themselves. Or they stumble into the alley and I listen to their hearts breaking.
You're very sensitive. Oh. Maybe so. But we don't think on it that way. Hey, nice place. Let's go snoop around. She's got a nice place here. I hate how the fridge door automatically opens, it always freaks me out. It's an office. Just my office. Oh. Raid her fridge. There wasn't anything to raid, she's hungry. <laughs> okay, if I do this, will she be mad at me? Easy. Riot control helmet. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's so scary. Okay, she isn't attacking me, so I'm assuming this is fine. Welcome, Holcomb Robert. Enter a keyword for record search. Open last search. First entry. In Dumadi left Edgewater today. She's been reassigned to Terra One. I kissed her goodbye at the platform and asked if I'd ever see her again. We both knew the answer was no. Look up and think of me, and as I'll look up and think of you. No. No, and Bran's leaving too. Bran, look up and think of me, and I'll look up and think of you. Even if we both live on the same continent. And I'll look really weird staring up at this guy. But have a good rest of your day at work. He's dead, he's fucking dead. Note from Indumati. Robert, they wouldn't let me keep her, but I know you will raise her with love. Perhaps more than I would make time for. You are patient and present in a way that I am not. The company says she has no name until you give her one. Her name is Parvati. They tell me her birthday will be set on the date she's legally delivered to you. She was actually born on July 7th. Make her feel special when I can't. She liked it when I sang to her. It was the only time she would stop crying. Dog. I'm gonna fucking cry. What the fuck is this shit? Wait, the young space just got to mechanical engineering! Open last entry. I sat up late last night reading through the Young Spacer's Guide. I almost started reading it out loud from habit. It's been ten years, but I still have parts of it memorized. I reckon I'll take the next volume into work at the cannery. Okay, next volume is- okay, there's a volume at the cannery. There's an unused office where I've been taking my lunches. I may as well read the whole thing again. We know where it is. Was that everything? Yeah. Okay, so at the cannery in an office. That'd be where we find the next one. We have to keep that in mind. Oh, you like flowers? I can't find many kinds around here. Mm -hmm. If you need to go, I'll wait outside. Oh, this is just the restroom. Oh, my coming out here. Sticking on the street instead. Oh. Well, since we're near the cannery, let's go look for that next uh, edition of the Spacer's Guide. Parvati, you smoke? You goob? That's not good for you. Yeah, into the cannery and an unused office. Let's break into the fucking cannery. I changed the... Objective, right? Journal is probably J. It is! Cool! Okay. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Heard Marauder's gone in. Just between us, Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. You're kidding me. Dave? Always thought he was made of certain stuff. I think he was plagued. Guess he didn't want to die in the sick house. Plagued. If 
found one left hand. We f I fucking knew it. They're using human meat in the fucking cannery. Severed at the wrist. Some bone damage. People, this is our second unscheduled amputation <gasps> in many months. Please exercise caution and safety around machinery. Maintenance fees will be deducted from your pay. I fucking knew they were using human meat. This was a fucking thing in Fallout 4, I remember. Oh my god, stop with the noises! Riot control armor. Is there a companion reputation in this game? Sprats! They're using sprats! Nope, okay. So they don't give a shit if you like. If you steal in front of them, if you. Oh, this is the latrine. Let's find that office. Wow, this place looks terrible. They'll give input sometimes, but that's it. I see. Thank you for letting me know, Simon. There is fucking animal corpses on the ground. Every time I type in here, I die in Warframe. Simon, focus on Warframe! I mean, we could technically just pick up this power regulator and bolt, but... We're not gonna have a power regulator if we side with um, Adelaide, are we? How are we gonna get out? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna hunt you down. <laughs> Where could that book be? Two for fifty? That's so cheap. Oh, two for each piece. That makes more sense. God, that noise always freaks me the fuck out. What was that office he was talking about? Gosh. Could it be this room? Oh! It's not the best choice! Are we back at the- we're in the- we're in the main area now, where that guy was chilling. You know, the dude? Where the leader guy- leader guy was. Another vending machine. Engineer- hey, it's on our map! Bog! Yeah, I remember. The dude? Wait. Hold on just a diddly darn second. Is this taking me to a different volume? I think that one's taking me to the community center. We know there's one in the cannery. Yeah! What the fuck? Pardon me, ma'am. Just walking back in. 
Is it upstairs? It is fucking upstairs. Oh. Haven't been here in a while, have we? Oh, it's downstairs. What happens if we talk to this asshole? Don't mind me, just... <laughs> it's my jam. If you could see your way to getting us our power back, I'd appreciate it. Go ahead. We need to have a word about this plague. Can we not? Talking about unpleasant things always gets my bile up. That I cannot say. There was no moment when the plagues began. Disease always lurks on the fringes of society, waiting to infect the idle and the lethargic. But in the last ten years, the plagues have become progressively worse and increasingly frequent. Corporate doesn't like us using the word should. It encourages the imagination. I believe plague is a test. It is a test of our loyalty and our fortitude. And it is one we will see through to the end. Man, me too. Show up to work, put in your hours, wear a smile. Problems of the body come from problems of the spirit. Work improves the spirit and fortifies the body. They're not even being nuanced about it. Like... <laughs> You know, those fortifies the body against disease? Antibiotics. <laughs> and where do you suggest we find this magical panacea? Can we pan for medicine in the stream? Medicine is a rare and precious commodity. If you demonstrate you have earned the right to be treated, you will be treated. Otherwise, you must heal yourself. If I had enough medicine to treat everyone who fell sick, I would, but I don't. I can't save everyone. So I have to choose. It is not easy for me. And the moment it becomes easy is the moment I am no longer fit to serve. Spacer's choice is a family. And the survival of the family is more important than the survival of the individual. Go ahead. It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am the steward of this place, and this is my watch post. I'm trying to remember 25 years, 26. When you get to my age, the years just rush by. You stop counting altogether. I remember looking out this window and seeing the veil spread out from horizon to horizon. We were a sprawling town. We were booming. Times change, people change, but the veil will always be here. Spacer's choice will always be here. Our work won't ever end. I take comfort in that. I wish you wouldn't say things like that. Yes, as a matter of fact. When I stand at my window and look out over my town, here's what I see. I see decent, loyal, hard-working people. I see a family. We are all part of the Spacer's Choice family. We are all doing what we were brought into this world to do.
It's a very pleasant conversation. Okay, where the fuck is that engineering volume? Oh my god! Yeah, me too. Me too, fam. We got it. Three minutes late to that comment, but I agree. <laughs> You've tried the best, now try the rest. From the office of Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. Symptoms of infection have now reached a critical mass. I have instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into a sick house. Plague is a reality of life on the frontier, and as spacers we are expected to face up to reality, and the reality is that we do not carry enough medicine to treat all of you. Medical treatment is a privilege, not a right. We must strive every day to demonstrate our worthiness of that privilege. If you find yourself suffering the symptoms of incipient plague, the best you can do for yourself and your family is to don your jumpers and come to work. Work fortifies the spirit. Physical illness recapitulates spiritual weakness. Shit damn, boys. It really is another fucking day. Let's get the fuck out of here. Was it F6 to save? F5? There we go. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. I'm guessing you're the foreman. Foreman Granger. Mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Christ. The, the, the baby geckos, they're eating them! I'm gonna break- no? Oh, I'm good, nice. Dog, I'm gonna go against these people just because they're eating the little baby geckos! Why would you eat them? They're so cute! Alright, so we got a full tour of a- uh, we did Parvati's take your ashen, sunken-faced, dirty, uh, wanderer to work day. Got that out of the way. Lovely group of people you're working with, Parvati. Um, we have one of the engineering volumes, Pog. Let's go get the other one. Two hundred twenty-seven me. Do I look like some kind of pack meal? What is this? This is ridiculous. Sort of at the halfway point. So I guess it doesn't matter if we say if we fast travel. So let's just walk. Let's just enjoy a nice stroll, Parvati. Mom, can you yell at my teacher for me? Why am I yelling at your teacher? What did they do? Oh, because of the exam? Yeah, what the fuck, dude? I'm assuming you already spoke to them too? That's terrible. It's awful. I'm so sorry. Why are there marauders literally right outside of Edgewater? What the fuck? See, I'll say companions are useless, but they make excellent fodder. Rush him. Rush B, fuck it. We're playing on normal, who gives a shit? Cool, we probably could have shot these cartridges. I'm so dumb. I always forget to do that. Anyway. You good, Parvati? I told them I'd be gone too. Email your professor. Rem maybe they forgot. Shoot them a reminder. Now do that with named NPCs. I want to fucking do it with Reed, I'll tell you that much. I 
See, the reason I never kill people in these games is because, like, what if there's more tasty dialogue for me to eat? You feel? What if there's tasty dialogue I'm missing out on? Bab, what's good? How are you? Oh, shit. Oh Christ, there's so many of them. I made a mistake! I feel like I say this every time I- Go! Ah! Oh shit, I need to heal. How do I heal again? I'm good. I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm not good. Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. Hold on. I'm really good at this whole fighting thing, I don't know if y'all can tell. Why are you cow- Oh, cause that's my skill! I forgot about that. Is that all of them? Nope, there's still two more. Nice. ILX alphabet soup confirmed. I have not had it in a hot minute, but I bet I would. I bet I would enjoy it. Ruthlessly killing people who submit. <laughs> but sometimes you should and then reload the save. That's fair. It's very cathartic. All that non-combat from Breath of the Wild makes you rusty. <laughs> Tasty. I like elf- Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> I like alphabet soup too. I like you, Hugo. Oh, god fucking damn it. Bab beat me to it. Thank you. I don't like that I sneeze there. Got a little sneeze coming on. A little sickness. Right in time for break. Why, well, thank you. Okay, so the community center is run over. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's delete some saves, because it's been a hot minute. See, this is how I'm going to keep my saves clean. I think I forgot to do this at the end of the stream yesterday. Or maybe I've just saved excessively. Here. That's good enough. Yeah. I don't want to buy food, but I'm also lazy. Go get food, you goo. Bab, can we share Hugo? What kind of food would you get? <gasps> oh fuck, we just have to rush in, dude. Hello. Ah, oh, why are you reloading? What the fuck? I'm gonna die! Ah! Oh, this was a poor idea. Ah! I'm fine. Bro, I'm fucking dead! Shushing me, it's giving me anxiety. Also, can those motherfuckers stop roaring? It's so annoying. We need like an assault rifle. We need to like bust down the door and just go ape shit. <laughs> What's that? I can't hear you. We only have 25 heavy ammo. Oh wait, we have 160. What the fuck? Of course this is an assault rifle, so that's all gonna be gone and be gone in a few moments. Can I even wield this weapon yet? Poge! 
We're just gonna lock the fuck in and we're gonna spray and pray per body. You ready? I'm so sorry. How many eardrums did I just break? <laughs> that actually scared me. Oh. 24 meters. <laughs> wow, so it's not stealing if we're stealing from marauders? That's kind of fucked up. This is a lot about our society. What, they got a fucking vending machine in here too? Okay, Parvati, here's the plan. We're gonna- we're not gonna use the vending machine because they'll probably sing to us and it'll freak us out. Um... Oh, it's F5. Oh god, there's people in there. Have to drive, be right back. Enjoy your drive, Xkev. So it seems fighting is inevitable. Therefore. Bard. Just my fucking luck. for the clip, Molly. Cover your ears. Oh my god, the timing! <laughs> you guys are big-brained. We're getting further away from the... Where the fuck is he going? Hello. Bro, you're so fucking dumb. Oh wait, I said I was gonna wear something for this. Hold on. Don't worry, Parvati, I'll be there in a second. Is this higher armor? Nine, four, hmm. Damn, I look sexy. is reddit <laughs> to hear io and just talking normally or to never hear anything ever again <laughs> the solution is just don't wear headphones ever and just listen to me cuss <laughs> in like 20 word strings and have it on blast for your entire family dear did we actually get all of them that went so much smoother than last time what the fuck Oh, we had the key? Good for us. What the fuck is that noise? It sounds like there's a fucking rat living in my head. Sophus? What? I can't hear you. What's up, Spikes? <laughs> okay, what is a- what the fuck is a bypass shunt? Did we actually kill everyone in the building? We did probably didn't kill everyone in the building, just like the people on this floor. Wait, no, this is where we came in from. What the fuck? Yeah, there's more hostels over there. Oh, bo 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 baby! Oh, baby! Display fashion to resemble a pair of mighty primals it required extensive field research. Let us have a moment of silence for the researchers who gave their lives in the pursuit of authenticity. So this <laughs> is that her? Cannons can be found all over Emerald Vale in two distinct varieties: domesticated and feral. Feral cannons hunt in packs. While domesticated cannons can be loyal companions, it is important to remember that cannon is still a wild animal and should be treated with caution. You can domesticate them. Coming soon. The great frilled manta queen. Sovereign of her nest, imported from the wilds of Terra One. Wow. K 
Okay, let's just get to that fucking... There's probably more hostiles here. No, but there is two dead guys in the bathroom. Three dead guys in the bathroom. We got money! Is it in this room? Dude, that sprat is scaring the fuck out of me. No, it's fucking upstairs. Director Pickett. From I. Rosenberg. The keycard encoder in the lobby is back up and running. Hopefully it won't go to the fritz again and start shooting keycards at anyone who walks by. As a reminder, in case it does break down again, you can borrow a keycard from either the director or one of the workers on the second floor if you lose your card. Director Pickett, I must lodge a complaint. Your obsession with this Manta Queen is wasting all of our budget and holding up development on the entire exhibit. This has to stop. Hello, Mr. Pickett. The letter is to update you... Update you regarding your request for one adult Manta Queen. As you re may remember, our trackers discovered a beautiful specimen out in the wild. Per your approval, we deployed a team of our highly skilled con hunters to kill it for you. We regret to inform you that our entire team has perished. Please expect an invoice from our office, including the cost of their gravesite fees, as stipulated in our contract. Additionally, we must ask you to cover the cost of all equipment damaged, corroded, dissolved, eaten, or digested, partially or otherwise. Thank you for your patronage. Please allow me to offer you the opportunity to purchase a second hunting expedition at a 10% discount. I look forward to hearing from you. <sighs> Teaching the fauna of Halcyon the cruel realities of existence. <laughs> Partnered with the Wildlife Eradication Society. A bubba baby. What did a baby? Dude, when the fuck are we gonna run out of space? That's my question. Why would we transfer here? That sounds fucking stupid. So we have to head upstairs, it seems. Where there's more enemies. Let's grab the thing and go. We don't know where the last one is, though. Phew! Let's skadoodle on out of here. So we have two. We don't know where the third is, though. No fucking idea. Yeah, we found one in the cannery. We found one in the community center, and those were the two that he pointed us to, so we have no idea where the fucking third is. No fucking clue. Let's deliver these two to him. And we can worry about the last one. I don't know, maybe we'll stumble upon it as we go. Finding one of those manuals? I found two. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Part one, found it in the community center archives. Look at that. Building a computing machine out of spectrum potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. <laughs> I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special. 
On the off chance that somebody searched out 300 bed cartridges. Well, don't keep me in suspense. <laughs> Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little longer back <laughs> Why were on potatoes? It's like your fourth grade science project where you like put a fork and a battery through a potato and it like lights up a light bulb. Deserters are now agreeable. Pog. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your hands. We got money. If your enemies are hostile with the reputation. Okay. Yeah, we already knew that. Cool. <laughs> I wonder who we're gonna get to kill uh kill on sight with. That'll be interesting. Let's talk to Grace about what we found out about Zoe. Perhaps let's go switch to Zoe now? Like, if we stumble upon the last volume, we'll stumble upon it, right? What is it? Oh, never mind. She doesn't have anything new to say. Let's go talk to Stefan again, whatever his name was. Steven? Are you Steven? Stefan. Something I can help you with? Got some more questions about Zoe. I'll help if I can. Oh, there's nothing. Okay. Nothing we didn't already know. Let's just go look for Zoe, I guess. That reminds me of a fourth grade project that used straws and cups to show the flow of how rivers worked. That's so cute. That's so cute. Bro, all Grace fucking does is stand there and shoot cannons. I respect the fuck out of that. What is the X? What C? What Z? I have so many questions. Okay, me thinks we're gonna be getting into trouble here, Parvati. Keep your wits about you. Oh my god, they're fucking roaring again. I can't. It looks like a super jump of some kind. Yeah, it does. Maybe a drug administration. I don't know. It looks like there's a head in the middle of it, though. Which makes me think it's like a Vots kind of thing. C looks like it could be drugs, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. X gun, give it to you, dude. Every time I shoot people in this game, I want to be like, X gun, give it to you. See, if we shoot one guy, the entire fucking map's gonna light up with enemies. Let's see if we can go in from the other way. See, it makes you go super saiyan. I would like to see it. X gun, give it to you! Oh fuck, there's one right there. Nope, that's just a rock. There's a primal nearby. Oh fuck, we are in the area, we're in the area, we're in the area. Get out, get out, get out, get get, 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 get out. I'm glad enemies have ridiculously low awareness in this game. It really works out in my favor. Everyone seems to have a perception lower than me. Well, good thing we're the first then. What the fuck is this weapon? <gasps> is Parvati still fighting them? Oh god, Parvati. Where are they running? They just fucking forget that we're here?
That motherfucker dissolved. I keep thinking it's F6 for quick save. Parvati, where the fuck are you going? Ah! Ah! I'm fine. I'm good. Oh. Who the fuck is, uh, throwing grenades at me? We gotta deal with them. So. Oh, he's cowering. Fuck! 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 Damn it! That's why we quick saved. I missed! And then I missed again! And then I missed again! Oh god, I'm so sorry, Simon! Okay, this is not going well. What's up, goon? Yeah, so this is going incredibly well. Ow. Bro, that motherfucker's running. I missed again! I missed again! I'm gonna run away now. Ow. Ah! I'm gonna die to- I almost died from a fucking broken ankle. Oh well yeah, this is just lovely. I'm just gonna reload my save now. Sorry, Simon. Yep. Is that guy okay? Here we go. Real slick. Oh my fucking god. That's a mine, that's a mine, that's a mine, that's a mine. <laughs> God damn it. I forgot that I had an assault rifle, you know. This is sicko mode in... The Marauder side, not mine. <laughs> I forgot I had an assault rifle on me. I forgot I had a long range weapon I could use. Here we go. Nice one. Bro, this bitch is definitely dead. Or she actually became their queen. In which case, color me impre- Okay, that mine's gonna kill. <laughs> I keep doing the same mistakes every time. We should attack from a different angle. Ah! Uh... Okay. Alright, Parvati. Come on. Here we go. Don't mess with me. 
go, 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 go. Dude, she's wielding a fucking hammer. That's badass. That's the last of them. Cool. We drew some of them out. Although I'm afraid the primals might be coming to investigate now. Dude, Parvati is so fucking cool. She was just like brandishing a fucking hammer. What a queen. Real Petra vibes, honestly. Stand and deliver! Always wanted to say that. Oh. Who? Oh, hey. Where the fuck were you, dumbass? While all your friends were fucking dying? We could have shot all these barrels and made life a lot easier on us. Wow, you crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. You sound confused, or possibly unscrewed. Only thing unscrewed around here is the head of that marauder you took down. Never seen moves like that outside my serial dramas. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. Frankly, it was more Parvati, but... Skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. <laughs> I need you to clarify something for me. <laughs> I'm great at clarifying. How are you even alive? <laughs> I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. What the fuck is this bitch? Oh, you mean around these guys? The Marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. I... <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Every time we finish a gunfight, I like look at the glowing barrels like surrounding me and I'm like... Hmm. We could have shot those. It's like, it's like I go blind to them while I'm fighting. Like my vision like just glazes over. I'm impressed. How'd you pull it off? I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. Why did you leave camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. She went quantum vocab on this trip. I've got all the time in Halcyon. I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. You should go back. People are worried. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. What about Stefan? You two are friends. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also, he could carry on a conversation. I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Like I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. Cool. Let's head back. Oh, that's a mine! Cool. 
Gracie. Sup? What is it? Talk to Zoe into coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? Something about wanting to be an outlaw. I'd rather not get into it. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. <laughs> well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Do y'all even use currency around here? How many bits did I get? They're pristine. What'd she give me? Oh wow, I look gross. Pristine! So is there any point to using them if they're in pristine condition? Or should I just sell them right away? I don't know where we're gonna find that last frickin' uh... Oh, that was our first completed quest, cool. Uh, I don't know where the heck we're gonna find, um... Well, I guess the only thing left to do is a uh, power plant now. Where is the power plant? Veering? Huh. You have gained bolter pistol. A -b 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 baby. Should we go see if there's any side quests in Edgewater before we continue? I'm listening. Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. <laughs> Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Bunch of nanners. Should I just sell that gun? I feel like I should just sell it. We got a bunch of nanners here. Let's go travel to Edgewater, see if there's any quests we can do there. Because I feel like we haven't talked, spoken to a lot of NPCs there. We'll do a once over. Christ, that's terrifying. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. This is the sick house? Oh dear. Oh, poo poo babies. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Why not? Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. I don't mind. 
I don't know which company you work for, but if it's Spacer's choice, Boss can still write you up for fraternizing with an incompetent worker. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. I want what you've got. <laughs> Wait, no, what's <laughs> What's the line? I forgot it. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is to understand my own folly. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. You've got Adrena time? How? No, I don't want to know. Could be you stole it. Could be you're trying to test me. See if I'm going to violate company policy. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Are they dead? Why is the guard running in here? Did she just shoot a sprat? Is she okay? Sis, you good? Okay. Found the general store. Not since the vending machine incident. The vending machine incident? Got my eye on you, girl. Miss Holcomb ain't allowed in this establishment. Not since that little incident. What incident? Ask her if you care. I'm running a business here. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. Go right ahead. What's your take on this place? What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This a test? Am I being tested right now? It's, a uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra Till. Blister on my ass is prettier than Edgewater. <laughs> Do us both a favor and don't try to prove your point. <laughs> I don't get paid for banter. <laughs> Music to my ears. A shovel? It's not just a suit and a deck of. Oh, a spade. I'm a goose. <laughs> Should I sell my pristine weapon? I don't know what to do with it. Oh, and it sells for 69. Ooh. Does pristine also mean it does better DPS? We have to like compare the DPS. Da, 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 da. We only need one of these. Oh, jeez. Come 
Can we accidentally sell the clothes off our back? That would suck. Oh, Dopio. Oh, my precious little fucking Dopio. Wonder if the plague's ever gonna pass. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give the book back to that guy. Let's go talk to him and see what happens. Um, see if we can refuse to give the book back. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Please get it. seem pretty concerned about that book. Care to tell me why? A religious text deemed heretical by the OSI is an unsafe object at large. Though I understand why a collector would desire to possess such a rare book. Because I'm also a collector of books. Rare things in this colony. Appreciation of the written word outside monthly periodicals is virtually unknown here. See, I want to know if he's lying to us because he's afraid we're going to, like, burn it. Or if he's genuinely telling the truth and that he thinks it's a heretical text. They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um, work fortifies the spirit. True exhaustion awaits idle hands. Um, I was actually asking what your religion was all about. The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. Hmm. What does OSI stand for? The Order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as scientism to the layperson. How do you talk to this Grand Architect? Prayer? Meditation? Or what? <laughs> Not very religious sounding. You sure didn't make this all up. You don't talk to the Grand Architect. Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. Scientology? <laughs> What's there to aspire to? We will eventually decode the plan and all its intricacies. Once we are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory... Deistic religion! <laughs> The future, the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us, removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need question their path again. Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential, and we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves, after a fashion. Tell me more. Well... First, there's the matter of the secret blood rites and animal sacrifices. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Seriously, though, to truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years... He's never heard time. of quantum <laughs> mechanics. <laughs> quantum mechanics disappeared after the Great War. I don't want to give him the book. I'm uncomfortable with giving him the book. I don't like it. I don't want to do it. It's my book now, yoink. My book. It's my book. It's my fucking book! Okay, let's go. Alright, Parvati. Parvati. It's true, I can't read. I'm a wimbo. I have like... I have like the charisma of like... What's a really famous actor? True, I could quick save, but... I don't know, just even doing the action on principle makes me feel icky. You know? It's my book. Damn, I look ugly as fuck. I just feel squicky just thinking about it. It just makes me all uncomfy. I think there's a raiders here. Quick save and gun down the entire population. Yeah! Wait, I wanted to ask Parvati about the... About the... Parvati. Now is probably not a good time to talk, but we're gonna talk right now anyway. Oh no, what's good? How are you? Parvati. Where are we headed? 
You mean why I'm not allowed in the store anymore? Who is that behind us? There's someone moving behind us. Seems to be a story there. How you doing, owner? There was a, a kind of a thing, the vending machine, when I was twelve. Is that a primal behind us? Did you steal from it or something? Not intentionally. I've always been good with my hands, right? So I saw a lock on the machine and thought, oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So I did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. Oh no! <laughs> it's not funny. Right about then, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the Saltuna ships. And Mr. Thompson was up on the porch making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all can. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of zero G? I have can't say I have. <laughs> Exploded all over Mr. Thompson. <laughs> One bottle after another as the loader. Came. I was just shy of working age, so I had to pay all the damages. Rose still ain't. I can laugh about it now, but I just about puked up my guts and terror in the moment. That's the one time I ever made Mr. Thompson look a fool. <laughs> Parvati is my hero. I love her so much. What was that behind us? She's so fucking cute. I love her. God, and this is so fucking pretty. Alright, let's go to the geothermal power plant. No more time to waste. I would have liked to do all the side quests first, but I feel like it's going to take us forever to find that third uh, engineering manual. Ah. Are those both BTTV emotes? I need to I need to put them on the channel then. <laughs> of course there are enemies here. Of course, of course, of course. Of course. Yeah, sure. Of course. Yeah, awesome. Love that. Whoa! Oh you're so pretty, baby! <gasps> oh boop boop boop! Oh you do find snake! Oh be do 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 She's a fat snake, look at it! It's so beast! <laughs> it's a little thick on. You're so cute! Wait. I want to look into your eyes. <gasps> Such a handsome boy! Look at him! Oh my god! He's so cute! I just- I don't want to play the game anymore, I just want- oh, no, 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 no. Shoot him- What the fuck is wrong with you? Did I just shoot that? What the fuck is wrong with you? Look at the fucking fat snake! If anything, I should shoot every NPC in this game except for this guy. He's just out here being- being- being chunky. He's a big chunky boy. Oh, I'm gonna cry, it's so cute! Okay, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Okay, so that mechanical guardian is kind of freaking me the fuck out. What are we gonna do about that? Yeah, true, that's a very Simon thing to say. There's two of them, dog! Up, 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 sneak baby! Up, 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 The sneak baby. I always wanted to poke around in here. Bye, snake friend. It's just a fat snake, I'm so happy! <laughs> that's like the best thing I've ever seen! fuck are we gonna do with those guys? Just a bunch of guys. Just chilling. Oh, there's so many of them! Wait, 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 wait! Wait! No, stop! Stop! We're fine, we're fine, we're fine! Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot! I wonder if they're co they have, like, weak spots, like a core or something. Let's see what Hugo's showing us. Found it. Let me see if I have slots. <laughs> 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 
flushed. I'm just getting flushed. Wait, why doesn't my better TTV feel anymore? Better TTV. What the fuck? Why doesn't my thing fill out anymore? I'm at 50 out of 50 channel emotes. Hold on. Wait, wrong display. Fuck. Alright team, which one are we axing? Maybe think reverse? Maybe crab, please. Or Ricardo Flick. Hmm. See, if I ask crab, please, Dill is gonna kill me. Well, ask, think, reverse. It hurts me to do. Wait, no. Mm. Or maybe thonking. I don't know. <laughs> Be right back, dinner? Alright, Hugo. I'll still be on for like another hour. Kill him ass? No, don't say such blasphemous things. You fool. Don't say such blasphemous things. Let's ask... <laughs> I don't want to get rid of the thinking emotes. Let's ask thonking. I like think reverse just a little bit more. Oh, this hurts me to do! I can't do it! Or, 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 That's true, we could ax I, I, uh, I feel less conflicted about that. <laughs> it's my namesake, but I feel less conflicted about that. Cool! Good work, team. Default IAA is lame, but you didn't hear that from me. It like shares my name, so I feel like I should like it more. Like I feel obligated to like it. We're not killing him ass. Don't even suggest such a thing. It's like how the fuck are we gonna like sneak up here, my dudes? Oh yeah, they can fly. Oh! Can't aim, dog. Oh, oh my god, those things are so slow. Parvati, don't you die on me! Parvati? Uh oh. See, when I saw Sentry. When I saw Sentry, I was thinking like, I was thinking like the Sentries from Fallout 4 that like fuck your shit up and have like mini nukes attached to their backs. I wasn't thinking these wussy ass babies. Know what I mean? Can I repair in the inventory yet? Can I do that? That said 187, I almost had a fucking heart attack. See, look at all these cartridges we could have shot but didn't. Doesn't seem to be a way to disable it. Mm. 
Maybe the last engineering guide will be here. We should take a good look around. Stick our noses in some. Oh dear! There was certainly a situation that occurred here. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. No adapter from here. Yeah, huh? No, nothing to say. Uh, do we need to purchase anything? Can we sell shit? Can we sell a bunch of nanners? Da da. Mm -hmm. Da da da. <gasps> Emmy, what's good? It's space and it's choice. Okay. How you doing, Emmy? How's your day been? Hello. Started out pretty bad. Chill right now, though. Well, I'm glad it got better. Sorry to hear you had a shitty start to your day, though. I'm so bad about, like... Like, if I wake up and, like, I feel bad, like, the rest of my day is just awful. But I'm glad you were able to pick things up. Here, we're gonna search every score of this place, because I'm sure the final, uh, mechanical engineering thing is here. I guarantee it. We just have to find it. Cutie Bap and Cutie Emmy, both in my chat. I'm so lucky. Like, it's gotta be here, right? Hmm. This is just the restroom. You're fast. Whisper quiet muzzler. Nice. Alright, let's check this out. Welcome, Jay Brayden. There was an office door we needed to unlock. From Spacer's Choice. Miss Brayden, this letter serves as an informal notification of our company's displeasure towards your management of the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant for reasons related to exceeding your staff budget in your latest quarterly report. Please select five subordinates to be dismissed immediately. Additionally, please contact our office to schedule your official reprimand at your earliest convenience. <laughs> Failure to schedule your official reprimand will result in an official reprimand. The Spacer's Choice family would like to collectively remind you that working for Spacer's Choice is not a right, but a privilege. From Jay Braden. To the esteemed members of the Emerald Vale Development and Oversight Committee, I hope this letter finds you wealthy. After due consideration of your last letter, I have identified and terminated no fewer than five subordinates who are unable to provide sufficient justification for their ongoing employment. I'd like to remind the Oversight Committee that most of the Emerald Vale has failed to meet its production and output quotas, particularly our agriculture and fishing canning departments, neither of which are anywhere close to profitable. The Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains committed to providing cheap, cost-effective power to the entire region. Miss Brayden, we have investigated the claims made against the profitability of the Greater Emerald Vale region. Our offices agree with you. Agriculture and fishing canning have experienced a steady decline, while the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains somewhat profitable. Our offices are currently investigating ways to implement additional cost-saving measures, which will ultimately lead to a leaner, more streamlined, more efficient geothermal power plant. Please be informed that the Spacer's Choice Development and Oversight Office has taken a significant insurance policy against the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. The office would like to assure you that this insurance policy is a standard procedure. Do not attempt to interpret, understand, or otherwise extrapolate meaning from this decision. <laughs> As a special courtesy, we have deployed a proprietary team of engineering specialists to the Emerald Vale geothermal power plant. The team of specialists has been instructed to refit and upgrade the plant's population of auto mechanicals, free of charge. Thank you for your cooperation. Shit damn, boys. Give me the thing, give me the thing, give me the thing that's in there. 
It really is another fucking day. No, no, we're not. I still got like another, a little less than an hour, but about an hour. I've just got something going on at three, but it's one forty right, one fifty right now. Mind your head. Yeah, but that's for <laughs> tall people, which I can definitely, certainly relate to being. For sure, one hundred percent. Boop 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 baby. Dude, I can't get over that fucking fat snake. That was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. The fat snake? Holy shit. It's not far! Wish I could do that. It's not far, Xkev. No, I need to be there 30 minutes early. Okay, it's for my haircut, so it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's not like I have an appointment going on. Anyone in the next room we need to worry about? It doesn't seem so. Hey, well! <laughs> well, what, Exco? Ooh. So much loot. Unlock door. Personal log 79. Hope you enjoy your hair meeting. I will. I'm due for a trim. And I'm gonna get to get it straightened without having to do it myself, which is always nice. <sighs> Chester Higgins again. That hull head. Found him fiddling around with one of the mechanicals, so I had to write him up for tampering with company property. Just in case I'm reading this a couple of days from now and feeling bad for what I'm done, let me just remind myself that I've warned him before. He's always been a little crooked in the skull. He was working on some logic module. I confiscated it. Should be in my lockaway room for the foreseeable future. We picked it up. Welcome back, Hugo. How was dinner? Coworker of mine cut her hair that was at least two to three feet down to a little bob cut. Oh, cute. I told her I loved it. I'm not brave enough to do that. That's why I buy short wigs. That's a mood. I always leave super early for things. That's the anti-Arab conditioning working, Simon. That's uh, that distinctly at work. Doesn't sit right with me. Company's been replacing our guards with auto mechanicals. At this rate, I'm gonna end up chief of security with no staff. Just a small army of mechanicals knocking about, pointing guns every which way. Company tells us they're safe. Programmed to treat us humans like their own. People are liable to break down, but an auto mechanical never will. I don't know. It doesn't sit right with me. But company's never been wrong before, I suppose. For my cousin's graduation, which he invited me to, he told me to be at his house at 7. I get there at 6 for 50 and everyone's still asleep. <laughs> it's the Arab way, dude. <laughs> we were, I think, two hours late to a wedding the other day. And when we got there, it was like 10 minutes from starting. Like, we were two hours late and we got there on time. Like, the chronic Arab lateness is not a myth. It is a real phenomenon. It is real. Like, they were greeting people at the door when we walked in. Two hours into the scheduled, like, wedding start time. And, like, people came in after us. When Araki shows up on time, I thought you'd be late. He was the only one awake. <laughs> Pineapple. Pineapple and jalapeno, though. It's a delicious combination. Pineapple and jalapeno on pizza would be amazing. That's incredible, Simon. And yeah, I've been there. No, you're a delicious combination. Oh shucks. Worst has happened. Mechanical's gone crazy. Locked myself down here. Just trying to gather my courage. Gonna make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut things down. We'll delete this entry if I ever return. Oh Christ. Excav. Greetings, Security Chief S. Tenak Tanaka. This is an automated message initiated by Spacer's Choice Worker Safety Contingency Protocols. A security lockdown has been initiated. This is not the test. Your behavior during this lockdown will be reviewed during your quarterly audit. 
Anxiety is a common side effect of life-threatening situations engendered by security lockdowns. Fight back anxiety with an ice-cold bottle of Zero G Brew. Zero G Brew, an ale that's good for all that ails you. Man! Do I do the dirty and combine them? Yes. Yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Or eat both! I just think the idea of like pineapple with jalapeno is a delicious combination. I, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you were a weeb. Well, thank God I am not. How are you doing, Subtles? I don't even know what anime is. Oh, there's a lad in there. There's a lad over here. Unexpected noise. Oh dear. He's heading up. Oh! See, I didn't yell that time, guys. She says that with a character named Dopio. Dopio just means vinegar in Italian, asshole, okay? Doesn't have anything to do with any weeb shit. <laughs> Dopio was her birth name. <laughs> How dare you assume? Let's head downstairs. See, these sentries are such babies compared to the sentries in Fallout 4. Did I just sing? Chat, I don't know when I sing. You guys will be like, oh, that was so cute. And I'll be like, why? What did I do? It's like instinctual. It's automatic. How's the gun play? Pretty good. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. Fallout 4 had pretty good gunplay as well. I do sing a lot. It's a bad habit. It's not a bad habit. It's just a habit. Right, there's gonna be a lab in here. Oh, it's definitely better than New Vegas's. New Vegas's is kind of atrocious. It's relaxing though. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, New Vegas's is really bad. When can I play it on my new 27-inch 144p 144Hz monitor? <laughs> yeah. With that game pass. New Vegas gunplay is a fucking joke, yeah. Oh. Me too. Me too, Mr. Robert. Oh, there's two of them! There's two of them! Ah, oh, there I feel like energy ammo wouldn't work too well on these guys, but neither would it. Oh Christ. Not to worry, Parvati. I am in control of the situation. Ah! You good? Yeah, she's good. I would love a link. <laughs> Comes with six months of Spotify premium. Are we still talking about the game? Did I level? Oh, hey, I leveled. Pog. We both- we leveled together. That's so romantic. Okay, let's see. If I do one in science, do I get that 40? No, it has to be. Okay. How are we gonna spend these? Mm. <gasps> hey, bitch! What's good? How are you? Is it 60 bucks for Game Pass? Yeah, you're buying the service. You don't get access to the game afterwards. Yeah. I'm planning on buying Outer Worlds at release, but I just wanted to play early. No, no, it's an affectionate bitch, I promise. I promise. Mm. Hi, Angel. Hey, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna buy it on, Outer on uh, Steam as well. Yeah, I don't like the idea of like paying for a service and not a game. Like, just paying for the rights to a game doesn't sit well with me. But I was aware of that going into this. Like, if that was the only option, that'd make me uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I like having physical games as well, for sure, for sure. 
Tired, but I'm alright. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. I hope you manage to get some rest soon. Sixty-nine percent long gun crit chance. That's sexy. Ooh, access to restricted items. Gimme, give gimme. Give hmm. If we use our, the rest of our six points, we can get our signs up to a forty, which would be nice. My brother was making fun of me for buying a physical copy of Skyrim for 60 when it was on sale on Steam. <laughs> but it's nice to own physical copies. Joke's on him because he was right! <laughs> I don't know, I like owning physical copies because like... Gosh, I don't know. I get paranoid. I get paranoid! Alright, should I invest 6 into science? I haven't invested in dialogue in a while, though. Feels weird, man. Feels weird, man. I don't like that. Oh well. Next level, I will. Parvati! Maximum health. I feel like these are pretty cool. Like these specific ones. Let's go with these. Because these are um, these are specific to her, which is nice. Let's save. Remember, we have to explore like every goddamn corner of this place. Aww. Do we have Chester's passcode? No. Do I have anything that increases? What's the skill needed? Forty out of sixty one. Oh, Jesus. I don't think I have any item that can raise it that high. What do you mean by feels bad vibes? Elaborate, please. Also, full disclosure chat, I'm starting to feel lightheaded. I can't tell if it's because I had food before starting stream, so I don't know what's causing this. But I do feel lightheaded all of a sudden. does have some of those feels bad vibes yeah yeah it kind of does i haven't seen anything super dark yet but like i haven't seen anything hella dark but yeah there's some dark stuff self diagnostics complete 
Navigation systems. Jeremy. Combat systems operational. Yeah, it's compared to New Vegas. Choice. It's the spacer's choice. Compared to New Vegas, I think it's fair to say it's like fairly bug free. If we're comparing to New Vegas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You made it out of that junkyard. All systems fully operational. Return journey successfully completed. Spacer's Choice would like to thank you for complying with your duties. This is odd. Why aren't you attacking me? Hostile actions towards Spacer's Choice mechanics are contrary to logical directive. Conclusion. All hostile auto mechanicals must be defective in compliance with spacer's choice policy all defective auto mechanicals oh jeremy dismantled. please allow me to assist let me get this straight you want to help me destroy other mechanicals affirmative mechanicide protocol mechanicide <gasps> Baby, the, the, the baby robot. Look at him go! Mechanicide! I'm so proud of him! Ooh! Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering! Down in the pit! Where's the pit? Where's the pit? I knew it would be here! Mom, when's Stardew Valley? Maybe tomorrow? Wednesday morning? I shot Jeremy, I never saw this. Simon, what the fuck? Remember when you told me to shoot Jeremy in the junkyard? Well, thank fucking God I didn't. Thank fucking God I didn't. Now Jeremy's off to kill his own kind for me. Yeah, 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 that's why I want to play it this week. I shot him right away. You asshole! Wait, important question. What's up, Emmy? Yeah, it's Jeremy from the junkyard! I like ran into him, I was like, Jeremy! It's like seeing an old friend. I killed his ass. You're all terrible! Parfati named him and everything! How could you do that to your 2D wife? The first person you meet in the camp, did you shoot him? No, Simon urged me to, but I didn't. Corporate just sent a team of technicians to conduct a complete refit of all our mechanicals. Every sentry and drone. It's not my place to say so, but I don't think- Doesn't this run contrary to Spacer's Choice mission of everything being as cheap as possible? Just in case I'm audited, I would like to formally express how grateful I am to be a part of the Spacer's Choice family. Spacer's Choice is the leading brand, brand in affordable, affordable sundry across Halcyon. It's not the best choice, it's the Spacer's Choice. I talked to him and shot him in the head with his own gun! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys! You guys are so mean! I can't. If I even... If, if like, if, like, I even... If I even, like... I mean to a character, I feel bad about it. Unless the character is an asshole, too. Jeremy dies, she gets no favors. <laughs> Parvati's only third on my wife list for this game. Well, that gets me optimistic for the rest of the people we're gonna meet. I just, I feel so bad, yeah. That's why I want to do a kill all, so I feel less bad. That's valid, that's valid. If it's like indiscriminate violence, it feels less guilty. I'm always nice, too, yeah. I'm a bit of, I'm like a pushover at some points. You left her in Edgewater! You guys are terrible. Just finished a r routine maintenance of all our mechanical sentries. I found some strange modifications to their logic modules. I have an attempt to run the diagnostics, so I don't know what's been modified. All I know is that these modifications were introduced in a recent refit. The company went through the trouble of refitting every single mechanical on the planet not too long ago. Was this premeditated? I filed a report where my supervisor told me not to worry about it, said so the company knew what it was doing, ordered me to forget about any alleged modifications to the logic modules. Oh, Bran missed like half of them. <laughs> Decided to do a bit of sleuthing by my own self. Got my hands on the logic module. Time to do some little experimentation. Fuck, dude, I think this was premeditated by the company. <laughs> I didn't realize it would let me go that far. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's so funny. Dude, if I find Jeremy's dead body, I'm gonna fucking lose it. We can't lose Jeremy, dog. I shoot a Megaton, steal everything, then blow it up. Man, I'm really glad I don't know some of you are- <laughs> just kidding. 
kidding. <laughs> Higgins? 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 Dog, we're like almost out of ammo. Aya, can I come visit? A monka W? Aya, can I have a sleepover? Monka Giga. Get away! Jeremy! Jeremy, say- Oh man, Jeremy's- Let me get the door for you, king. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go, Jeremy! We'll let Jeremy take his time. No, 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 just leave me alone. We'll let Jeremy do his thing. Oh man, this guy has gone psycho. Can't say I blame him. My phone is ringing. That drives me feral. Not my cell phone, my, my, my home phone. Higgins! You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot! Scram! That's Souls! Talk? The Phantom's never talked before. Well, is this Sigma? That sprat raw. Is this Sigma? See, see, Higgins. This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. He's actually Sigma. <laughs> You're not imagining me. Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. How long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Did we see how long ago the plant was uh, overrun? What do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Sentinels doesn't like that. Chairman of the Board, <laughs> Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. How have you been surviving all this time? Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. A few months at least. This place looks like it's been abandoned for a while. What happened? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. Filling my insides. <laughs> and you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. As usual, I missed out! <laughs> you mentioned being an engineer. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom, just over in the next section. <laughs> Was that before or ever you became a stupid tycoon? If you worked on these mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. Oh, dog, wait till he meets Jeremy. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. The noble art. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. Oh, how convenient! You have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Shoot at Chester Higgins oh, on site. Uh, that reminds me. You'll need my password Hug. to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Okay, cool. Let's head back up there. Do you have the mechanical engineering thing that I could yoink? That I could steal? Pug! We got it! Alright, let's head back upstairs, Parvati. Dude, when he meets Jeremy, he's gonna fucking lose it. This guy's gonna- this motherfucker's gonna, like... He's gonna, like, shit his pants. When he sees our boy Jeremy out in the field, he won't even know what to do with himself. He will know how to act. 
Gonna stuff my face with this pizza, then conk out before work to enjoy your conking, Xcov. I wanna reprogram the robots, that sounds fun. Oops, sorry, C. Higgins. All the mechanicals in this facility have been mandated to target intruders. Any attempt to alter the setting is punishable by company law. Your infraction has been noted, blah blah blah. Define intruders. Any persons or entities not identified as property of Spacer's Choice. Would you like to modify the definition of intruders? Define intruders as Spacer's Choice auto mechanicals. Nice. Turn to root. Thanks. Gonna go back to painting. The only thing my drawing has a lot of skin. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Enjoy, Emmy. Thanks for hanging out. Alright, let's head back down. Well, they won't be attacking us anymore. And Jeremy, you know, keeps that motherfucking thing on him. It's on site. He keeps that motherfucking thing on him. Which way did Jeremy go, anyway? He went down this way. Hmm. Well, I wish he keeps I that Glock on him at all times. Everything good there, Jeremy? Let's use the work punch. Da da da! <laughs> How many weapon parts do we have? Because I want to prioritize certain weapons. This is Parvati's, isn't it? I should have break that down. Old MacDonald had a trip blade E-I-E-I-L Jeremy cannot die, dude. It's not programmed in his code. He cannot die. Old MacDonald had a Jeremy E-I-E-I-O Anything on uh, your peers? Uh, nine? <laughs> nah, not yet. Nothing really new to pairs yet. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. I guess only Jeremy can go that way. Should we try running through? Ow, ow. Okay, okay. Yep, so we can't do that. The G in Jeremy stands for Jesus! I like how it didn't even let me walk through. That's a Jeremy road only. A road only Jeremy can walk. Here we go. Oh. Why'd I use my shotgun there? You tried the same? Yeah, it's just like, it's just temptation, you know? Shiny servo. Hmm. Jeremy, what the fuck did you do to this guy? This poor motherfucker. Shut off steam release valves. Cool. Let's go check that out. I mean, we, we got the mechanical engineering guide, which is what I was, like, gonna really search for. Dude, Jeremy has just left a wake of destruction in his path. He's just left a trail of death and... terrible general things. Alright, let's go back, go back and talk to Higgins. Don't have much time left. Like, 20 minutes.
I didn't kill Jeremy. He's still out there. He's still out there wrecking havoc. Good old Jeremy. And by the way, you killed Jeremy, you motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. Put some respect on my name. Energizing ointment. Hmm. Curious. All right, buddy. <laughs> Yikes, Simon. What's eating you? Uh. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. You mean, why did the Mechanicals go on a murderous rampage? Same reason any of us do, I suppose. The voices told them to do it. I was on He chose to go against his own kind. Had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as you... Now, how do we redivert the power? Oh, it's up there. I like how we've... <laughs> we've done everything in this place except the thing we were sent to do. Except for the one thing we were sent to do. It looks like it's on this level or maybe a level up. Yeah! What was it? Mechanicide? A mechanicidical rampage? That was so much fucking better. We're getting further away. God, I fucking love Obsidian Dialogue. How are we gonna get there? Hmm? How are we gonna get there? Ugh. 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 Thug kid. What's up, Parvati? Look how tall I am! Look how tall- is this how people over six feet feel? Is this how y'all feel? Yeah, it's fucking cool. <laughs> this is my daily life. <laughs> what did this do anyway? I like clicked it and I don't know what it did. Like I just like- I pushed the button and then like nothing happened. You know I keep that motherfucking thing on me. Six foot even. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Guess I'll never know. Why is there a little inlet there if the thing is gonna be there? What the fuck? Alright boys, big decision time. To be frank, I've had quite a lot of time to think on this. Plant status. Operating at 22% efficiency. <laughs> Redirecting power is an irreversible procedure. Please activate all three electrical track switches. Motherfucker, I already walked through the entire plant and you're making me go back? You're telling me we should have come here first? You did- <laughs> I was like, yeah, let me save the big decision for the end. Let it be the last thing I do- That's what those fucking things were for, those switches! God fucking damn it! God fucking damn it! Come on, Parvati, I'm sick of this shit. Parvati, I'm fucking sick of this shit. God fucking damn it. Is it just one switch or- they said three switches. So I saved the big objective for last, right? <sighs> Going into every wrong room. Yeah, it's just- it's just a- it's just the gamer experience, dog. Want to go- oh yeah, because we already clicked one! 
That's a good question. One that I'm not keen on pondering because we're going to get the fuck out of here. I think I'm going to send power to Adelaide. There's a bar right back there. Oh. Oh! Provide we'll deal with him. Jeremy, you goob! You were supposed to get everyone. Oh, it's up here. Okay. Can I hoard in this game? As long as you have a high enough carrying capacity. Oh wow, his head got cleaved right off. There's perks for hoarding. You okay, Parvati? Where's that last switch? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's go divert that fucking power. away my fucking ass. Very useful ladder, I know. <laughs> Leave me alone. Mom may I ask why there's no going back. Thanks, Parvati. Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow, she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. <laughs> no one's ever told me those words. All the fucking power to Jeremy. <laughs> I know, that would be so mean. I can't direct the power to Edgewater. I would hate myself forever for it. But Parvati does have a point. Take more of my friendship and care and hugs. Fuck you. We saved, right?
Don't spoil anything. Don't spoil anything. <laughs> Can you save again for my peace of mind? I think I'm gonna redirect it to the lab. Like, the conditions Edgewater has people in is basically slavery. It isn't a way to live, and I can't punish the people who, like, risk their lives to go out and change that. I, I can't. Like, the stability they're living in isn't... It's not living. And I know that isn't really my, like, choice to make. Morally? I guess it's nobody's choice to make, but... Like, I just can't. I can't direct the power to Edgewater. Just, the only thing that, like, breaks my heart is that the people who are already sick in Edgewater are gonna die. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Redirect the power to Edgeville? I know, I know, no, yeah, I did a lot of research. Like, I spoke to every NPC I could. Like, even if Edgewater gets back up on its feet and people get less sick... Um, and like the deserters are forced to return back that isn't living but I hate that people are people in Edgewater are going to die because I'm going to redirect power to the botanical laboratory like that's a fact people are going to die because suddenly the sick aren't going to have anywhere to go but we have to keep in mind that if we <clears throat> people will die if we re redirect power to the botanical laboratory but they're just gonna keep living like this forever. Yeah, exactly. What's living if the quality of life is just awful? The people, the deserters, they've like built a life for themselves on their own. Redirect the power to Edgelord Dimitri needs electricity too! <laughs> it's a tough choice though. Ugh. But yeah, I'm gonna choose the botanical laboratory. How do we leave? I wish I could title my save so I knew what not to delete. You know, because that was a big choice we just made. Not that I'm gonna go back and ever redirect the power to Edgewater, but... Dude, Reed's gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> Reed's gonna fucking kill me. Is he standing right outside? That's so menacing. Can we get a command that increases saves by one? We should! We should! <laughs> oh yeah, they're not gonna attack me anymore. Pog. Wait, what? What?! Oh god, run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Parvati, run, Parvati, run, Parvati, run, Parvati, run. Mechanus, and you trusted Jeremy. Jeremy did his best, okay? <laughs> oh god. Orthrus? I just accidentally used a companion ability, it seems. Holy shit. I just discovered companion abilities, apparently. Um. Cool. 
was the thing that just happened. He's named Orthus. It was a legendary beast. Our first one. Man, dude, Reed is gonna fucking kill us. Let's talk to Parvati about this first, because we went against what she recommended. <laughs> Shut up! I can't stop thinking on Edgewater, Captain. I'm glad the deserters are gonna be alright now they got power, but what about the town? All those people. Reed's gonna be like, hey. Oh shit. Those are marauders. Dude, let's just fucking fast travel to Edgewater. Oh. Okay, so they're hostile to us now? Oh, that we're near hostiles, that's the reason. Okay. I was like, okay, so we got a kind of kill on sight deal going right now. Can I fast travel now? Oh man. I hope a child comes up to you and bark cries at you. Shut up, Xcam. Oh god, yeah, let's get that power corn. Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? You're right. I put the fate of our town in the hands of some feckless transient. This is my fault. And all Edgewater's pain from my Feckless. Mistake. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. All right. Easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for and then leave us be. Frankly, I just didn't want to do combat. <laughs> stand down, all of you. We're done. But then just leave. Definitely didn't do that, haha. <laughs> Did you murder him after? Did you blast his face off after? Now you want to do combat, hmm? How the fuck do I get out of here? Oh. I have only ever seen peace. God, this hat! Nice! Yeah, Lake was right, believe. Desertion is a criminal offense, punishable by hard labor. Are we getting <laughs> you gave the fact head to Parvati? <laughs> I mean, you would have to kill marauders and stuff, but other than that... I actually have to go now though, guys. I have my hair cut at three. We'll go. We actually have to deliver something to. Um, we have to deliver something to uh, our friend Thomas. I think his name is Thomas. In um. In the deserters' camp, in the botanical garden. No, no, don't tell me yet. Don't tell me yet, because I don't. I don't feel like I've known everything yet. Hold on to it. Hold on to it till later. Okay. I had to end quickly. I would have loved to like go and talk to more characters about it. But like I had to end quickly because I have a I have a haircut.
No, no, it's all good. It's all good. Thank you for asking me beforehand. Um, but yeah. Wait till tomorrow when I stream more of this and like I like see the full consequences of my question. Thank you. It's just a trim. I'm not doing anything super special with it. Thanks for hanging out, Bap, and thanks for modding. Have a good one, all of you. Molly, Suttles, Simon. Thank you, Simon. See you, Hugo. See you, Xkev. Love you, too. Hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. I'm gonna dash. Sorry for the quick goodbye. But have a good one, y'all.